Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest slam dunk contest in NBA history. My name is Mike, I'm here with my partner Jesse, and today we have six of the best slam dunk contestants of all time, ready to compete against each other to determine who is the greatest dunker we have ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, today competing in the all-time dunk contest, we have Jason Richardson, Dominique Wilkins, Zach Levine, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, Andre Iguodala, and Vince Carter. The rules of this slam dunk contest will be simple. Every one of our six participants will give us two dunks in the first round. From there, the three players with the highest score will advance to the final round. And in the final round, the two contestants will both get two dunks and there's not going to be any ties. We will get a winner today. All right, before we go, who you got? Who you think's winning this? I gotta go with Zach Levine. Like Michael Jordan, his free throw dunk. I feel like Zach Levine could do that blindfolded. It's pretty incredible that you already seem to know what dunks Michael Jordan will be doing. <laughs> Where have you gotten this inside info? I know Michael Jordan on a personal level. <laughs> <laughs> right before we get into this, guys, I just want to say, go make sure to check out Jesse's channel. He makes awesome basketball content. He's always making me laugh. He just makes great videos. His yeah. link will be the first line in the description. Make sure to go subscribe to him. You just deserve it. I appreciate it, dude. Who do you think is going to win it all? I'm going VC. Oh, I see that. So, obviously, these guys are absolutely insane dunkers. So, we're going to have to be pretty hard judges. Because, like, we can't just be giving out 10s every time. So, yeah, we're going to have to be really tough. But, first up we have the man jason richardson oh i'm excited oh, i'm excited i can feel the energy in the air and here we go One, two, three, four. oh okay. okay and the judges score oh 7.5 on my end yeah i have to give it an eight i feel like he could have cocked back more yeah i feel like he's saving his good dunks for later in the contest you know what i mean number two dominique wilkins i'm very excited to see what he does here mike he's quite a bit older than these other contestants but uh let's see what he's got okay solid like i couldn't do that we see you know? sevens in the crowd the crowd is already a savage uh, they're given sevens Look, right next right there sevens all right let's watch this replay though oh my god i didn't oh wow i didn't see that the first time at all that was low-key amazing like that was just so much athleticism boom you gave him a seven i gave jason richardson a 7.5 and i gotta say jay rich's dunk looked a little better no, i feel you I, I feel like i'm being a little too nice number three the youngest slam dunk contestant here zach levine he's a young talent unfortunately he's injured so he's actually playing on an injury right now he's playing with a torn acl it's, <laughs> it's incredible <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm adding a bonus point just for that. Oh, and we got the Toon Squad and the Jordan. All right, he's rocking a jersey of his competitor. Oh! All right. I can't even do that on a six foot hoop. I don't think I, I could do that just jumping like on any hoop. If you throw out a basketball hoop entirely, I wouldn't be able to do that. 10. 9.5? How are you not going to give him a 10? I took away 0.5 points because he wore Michael Jordan's jersey, and Michael Jordan is competing against him. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's kind of lame. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's kind of weird, if anything, yeah. Number four, Michael Jordan. Now, I've heard this Michael Jordan player. I've heard he's, he's not bad, but we'll see today if he's really all that. I guess we're about to see. No okay. way! Something spicy. That was impressive because he literally put his head through the net. Yeah, that, that was kind of wild. And both eights. Both eights. I've been giving out a lot of eights, but they're just so impressive. Number five, we got Iggy Andre Iguodala. He's got the ABA ball. See some Dr. J magic. Ooh. All right. All right. It's so light. Kobe's impressed. I mean, Kobe's more impressed than you. Seven. Seven two. I just know he can do better. The man we've all been waiting for, number six, Vince Carter. Now this was the fan pick. Everyone expects Vince to win. I, I want to see something awesome right now. I'm ready. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That's dunk number one. Mike, that was something special. Ten. You know, I had to give it a 9, because I feel like Zach Levine's was more impressive. I feel like you gave it a 9 because you picked Zach Levine before. I'm just smelling a conspiracy right I'm now. not a biased ref. You're not a ref at all. And I'm not claiming you're biased, I'm just claiming that someone paid you. Like, 
we need to focus on the ducks. All right, I guess we'll change the subject. So anyway, the scores after round one are as follows. Leading everyone is Zach Levine with 19.5 points. Number two is Vince Carter with 19. Three is Michael Jordan with 16. And then Jason Richardson, Dominique Wilkins, and Andre Iguodala are four, five, and six. Any predictions for round two? Do you think anyone's about to step it up? I I'm excited to see what Michael Jordan has to pull out. So up first, Jason Richardson, and I hear he's using one of his dunks he planned for the finals, but there's no playing around now. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, that's actually really impressive. That was like his first dunk. Very similar to his first dunk, but just better. Nines across the board. That puts him back in contention for the finals, definitely. Next up, Dominique Wilkins returning to the court. He's got to get a combined 19 or higher oh. to advance to the finals right now. This is going to be tough. Let's see it. I don't think that's going to do it. I don't think that's going to do, do it, Like, look at the fans. They're not even excited. You know what, Dominique? For a two-time slam dunk contest winner, champion, I expect a little better. Sixes. I had to give it a six. That's what he deserves. This is for him. Like, we want him to do better in next year's competition because he is now eliminated. But <laughs> Zach Levine. You know what they say about Zach Levine, Mike? Did you just almost forget my name? <laughs> Oh, oh my god! My. What? Wow. That's did he just you. jump from the foul line and catch an alley -oop pass? He did jump from the free throw line. I had to go with the 9.5 here. I, I gave him a 9 because I don't have point five, but I also like the power of the dunk. He threw that down hard. I just like that it seems like he could just fly forever there. Michael Jordan returning, and it looks like he's about to try and directly one-up Zach Levine. There we go. Wow, oh, that was right. amazing. You know, the craziest thing to me is that he dribbles as he does that. And the double pump is just impressive. He didn't need to do that, but he just wanted to for extra points. And he's about to get those extra points. Boom. I went with a 10. I had to give him a 9. Like I said, I think the fact that he was dribbling, you know, just pushed that up for me. We've seen what happens when players such as JaVale McGee have tried to dribble and dunk from the foul line. And normally, you end up on Shaqton a fool. Andre Iguodala up here, he has to get a 20. A perfect score. Do you think he can do it? After seeing his first dunk, I don't think he has it in him to get a perfect score in this dunk contest. Well, um, the funny thing is, I am not a hater. So, I believe, Andre. I believe you will do this. Oh, oh my god. god! Yo, I I had doubt, but I'm a changed man. That was one of the greatest slam dunk contest dunks I've ever seen. That was incredible. I was not expecting that at all. We're agreeing here, tens. I have to give that a ten. I think the most incredible thing about that was that that was Allen Iverson's first pass ever, and he threw it right on the money. Unfortunately, the sad thing for Iggy though is that if Vince just scores a 26, he's gonna be going to the finals. Yeah, so we could both give him fives, and he'd still advance. Wait, hold on, 34. 16. No. Vince just needs 16 points right now to advance to the finals. And it's Vince Carter. That's just two eights. Oh. oh my god. Through the lakes? Oh my god. I did not expect that at all. It's oh. over. It's over. I mean, Vince, you got two more dunks to do. You still got a whole championship round. But you know, it might be over. It might be over. He's that confident. Nine and eight, Vince advances to the final round. And before we show you those scores, I just want to say, judging a slam dunk contest is way harder than I thought it would be. Don't roast us in the comments, okay? It's hard. And so our three finalists are as follows. Number three, we've got Michael Jordan with 35 points. Number two, Vince Carter with 36. And number one, Zach Levine with 38. 38 points out of a possible 40 with a torn acl damn scores will be reset we are playing with an even playing field right now michael jordan starting off the finals wow. i'm expecting big things here he's wearing chains he is in fact wearing two chains ah and here we go Ooh, he kind of cradled All that. All right. Why that is the crowd impressive. just so not alive? One big thing for the dunk contest is like, you got to get the crowd involved. You got to get the crowd hype. And I didn't really see much crowd hype there. I think the problem might be that this is the wrong kind of crowd in general. They look like they're supposed to be at a tennis match right now and have just accidentally stumbled into the greatest dunk contest of all time. Yeah, accidentally. <laughs> Mike, before we show our scores, I'm just going to let you know, now that this is the final round, my judging is going to be a bit more difficult. And for that reason... I'm giving him an eight. I gave him a seven. A seven? We're about to have the three greatest dunk contestants of all time. If we score too highly, we're gonna have no, you know, room to... Okay. Next up in the finals, Vince Carter. Here's my man. Let's go, Vince. This is it. 
Oh, oh my god! And he hung there! Dude, yo! Shrek's amazed! They're amazed! I'm amazed! How painful do you think that would be? Two nines here. Uh, people remember that we are giving ourselves some room just in case Zach Levine just gives us something amazing. Our final contestant of the final round, Zach Levine. I know you're excited for this and probably very nervous. You know, Mike, I do have my money on this guy. So you're admitting it. I, I bet it. It's just a saying. Let's see the dunk. Oh, oh my god! Watch this one more time. Oh! Was even better than I thought. He had it like all the way down there. Nines. Oh, we got Nine. ourselves a finals matchup, boys. That was awesome. That was that was awesome, but I think we're about to see even better. You know, Michael Dorn, at this point, you're gonna have to pull something out the bag that is just spectacular if you wanna stay in this. Yeah, Jordan seems like he's probably out of it, but he'll just dry his tears on his six championship rings. An ineffective way to dry tears, but you get the point. Ah, for the finale of the greatest dunk contest of all time? Six. You know what, Mike? I'm yeah. giving it a six. You gotta show better than that. He just didn't bring it. He really <laughs> did not bring it. Time for the real contestants here. Vince Carter, show me something here. Oh, oh my, my god. god! That's bringing I was thoroughly impressed. People are falling Clapped over. There will be a winner, guys. Next dunk will decide this, but two tens here. Wait, yeah, I had, of course. I mean, that made me fall out of my chair. It was that. I will say the um legendary 10.5 is in play for me. All right, the final dunk of this tournament. Let's go. For the who? No! Oh my! No! God. Was that even real? I gotta say, his foot was a foot over the line, though. I'm giving that a ten. I was. Very amazed. And it all comes down to me, and I'm sorry, but your house and life might be in jeopardy after you just lost your bet because I went with a 9.9. 9.9. .9. 9 .9. You bitch! 9 point, that's not a thing. It's a thing. I think Vince's like, you know was how, better. You know how much I had on the line. You know what, I gotta give props to Vince Carter. Congratulations. What I do have to say though, is that I think Zach Levine had more consistent dunks across the board. I think that last Vince Carter dunk though was just the top. Both incredible though. I mean, I gave it a 9.9. .9. Stop hating in the comments for once, guys. All right, so yeah, guys, that wraps up today's video. Vince Carter is the best slam dunk contestant of all time. At least according to us. I know you probably disagree. Hey. But yeah, other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a whole new experience for me. Thank you to Jesse for doing this. We've been doing this for like two hours. Yo, maybe. thanks for having me. Again, his link is going to be the first line in the description. Go subscribe to him. He makes awesome content. We're going to make a video on my channel soon. We just need a fire yeah, idea. Yeah, if you want to post ideas of there. what we should do next, hit us with them. Other than that. Have an awesome day, guys, and cue that music. You know what, Mike? This is actually the second uh, dunk contest I've judged, and the first one I judged was, like, this high school All-American game. I would pretty much gave everyone 10s, because, like, the players, if I didn't give them 10s, they kind of gave me a dirty look, so I, I was throwing out a lot of 10s. So you were intimidated by high school kids. I, I definitely but NBA was. stars you're fine with. Pretty much. It's all right. I'm at the point where I've made so many LeBron James mom jokes that if I ever saw them in person, I would be afraid.